all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy <laughs> terror by reacts we are here once again with some more dark reactions man episodes five and six um after this we only have two episodes i was actually surprised that they um dropped the amount of episodes to eight and not keep it at ten for this series but it's all right show is still fire still in my top five right now the writing in the show is absolutely incredible um last episode was definitely one of those you know what i'm saying it's a season one episode five kind of reveal kind of moment and it seems like they're doing these reveals like halfway through the seasons to kind of keep people to come back for the second half of the season to come back and watch it um but not only that people gonna watch it regardless of if they do a reveal halfway through the season or not because this show is that good so for them to reveal that freaking adam is actually Jonas, you know what I'm saying, is actually Jonas, but I'm not even going to sit here and try to explain because all the theories that I had in my head or was saying in reviews or whatever, all that shit goes out the door now because why, why is Jonas, why is he the one in charge of, what was the decision that he made to become, as they're portraying his character as evil, or is he really evil, or is he trying to actually save the world, but why is claudia trying to stop him what did he decide to do obviously they're in the future or not so much i don't know if he's actually in the future or he exists outside the realm of time who the hell knows no, nobody knows what's going on in dark <laughs> so i'm not even going to try to theorize what is happening here but i do want to get into these episodes so i appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching these dark episodes man they're lit it gets to the point where you think you know but you really don't know so i really do appreciate you guys thank you guys for tuning in once again appreciate you and i will see you guys for the review all right what's going on guys so when i'm doing my reviews for dark a lot of times i really don't know what to come here to sit down and talk about to be honest i'm gonna be honest like i don't know what to talk about because the only thing i can do really is theorize and at this point what am i supposed to theorize about because at, at the end of the day i'm not gonna be right so <laughs> why even go through the effort of theorizing because you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna do my best anyway so in these two episodes it was a lot of flipperoos you know what i'm saying a lot of flipperoos and at the end here we find out that it seems like magnus is one of the travelers that caught me off guard because i mean they did travel back in time and i knew i kind of knew that adam was sending because I'm like, what you're saying not making no sense. And if you watch the reaction, you see my face when he was telling, um, when he was telling Jonas that's it, um, why he needs to send him. I'm like, you want to save everybody? Doesn't make sense. Because, and the thing about it, I don't understand how Jonas did not pick up on that because what he's saying just didn't make sense to me. What he's telling him, oh, I want to save I want to save everybody. I mean, he's going to eat it up because it's he is talking to himself and he's telling him, oh, we've had this conversation before because my question to him would have been so you just now figuring out what how to fix this after all this time after how many times have you been through this very scenario with me and us having this conversation? And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think Jonas was asking enough questions to find out really what's going on. And that's why. The minute he said, oh, I'm you, he just jumped on board with everything he was saying. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like, oh, I've waited 66 years for this. But at the same time, like, bruh, help me out here. You know what I mean? I need more answers. I need more than that. You can't just, just say that and just, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was just kind of weird to me um what he was saying there in, in that um retrospect 
so i'm just looking at this from the point of view right i'm looking at this from the point of view where i'm not gonna figure out what's going on for this show until the end when they explain most of it because at this point there's still so much that needs to be explained claudia is back him sending you know adam sending Jonas back to tell tell his dad not to kill himself i was like how the hell is that like the cycle could not have started with Jonas with 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 his dad it doesn't make sense you get what i'm saying and i'm saying how he just went along with that just kind of like i'm like it could not have started with with Mikkel. You get what I'm saying? It couldn't have started with him hanging himself why this endless loop is going on. It couldn't have started with him. Because first of all, why are you being trans... Why were you in the future in the first place? You get what I'm saying? Why were you in the future? Because the tunnel only leads to three different times. Which is in um, one in the the 50s, right? One in the 50s, one in the 80s, and we have the current time, which is 2020, 2019, whatever. So it just didn't make sense. You get what I'm trying to say? It just didn't make sense to me because everything was just rumbling around in my head. And I'm like, this doesn't make sense. I mean, I was glad to see that they went back. So, you know, we got to see what happened before his dad killed himself or Mikkel killed himself. It was good to see that. But at the end of the day, it just didn't make sense. The cycle could not have started with him. You know what I'm saying? But I get why he ate it up, though. I get why Jonas ate it up, because he really wants everything to just stop. So he was just really gullible at everything that Adam was saying, even though, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I would trust anything that I person had to say even though i know it's me from the future you know what i'm saying how is it that you're not asking why is this the future that you are in you get what i'm saying because we don't even know where, what time period they're in and that's why i was saying i think in the intro i was saying does he exist outside of time because they seem like they're fight the fighting is for fighting of control over time Jonas has so much information from his other self, right? And he just forgot all of what he was told before. And then just start believing his older self. And it just goes to show you a lot of times of stuff that be because we believe that, you know, older people have all this vast wisdom, we'll more take their word over somebody that's younger any time of day. And we do that naturally. You get what I'm saying? Because you believe that this person has been through a lot of shit, so they've gained a lot of wisdom over years, and we become extremely gullible to an older person. And that's, that's not a joke. That is real facts. That is real life. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do with moving forward because I don't know what they're going to do next. I'm being honest. I don't, I don't know. You know? I don't want to sit here and talk about Anna because Anna is just a trash. She's just, she's just a trash person, bro. She's just a trash person. Um, they didn't sleep together that, that night, you know, that, it, that Jonas, um, that M Mikkel killed himself. You know what I'm saying? They didn't sleep together that night, but it's still kind of scummy to know that your, your husband is going through all that stuff. And instead of being there with him, you know what I'm saying? And they seem, they do seem kind of distant, you know, during the entire or, ordeal and, you know, showing that back, you know, seeing what happened before them that day. They do seem kind of distant, distant, and maybe that's the reason why she fell back into to the Ulrich trap of, you know, being in love with Ulrich this whole, Ulrich this whole time, right? So maybe that's the reason why maybe maybe that is we can blame it on that. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, she still went ahead and, you know, cheated. Yeah, you know I'm saying yes. Kissing is cheating. If you didn't know, it's not 
a mistake. Kissing is not a mistake, okay? You're still making a decision to put your lips on somebody else's lips. It's still cheating, okay? You don't have to have full-on sex to cheat with people. And people are always trying to blur the lines with, well, oh, is that really cheating, though? You know what I'm saying? I get it. Flirting? Flirting is not cheating. That's, it, it's nothing. Flirting. Because you could just be flirting for the sake of just a joke. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, flirting with somebody. I think, to me, when I say flirting, so let me put the measures out there when I, when I say flirting. Flirting is just like giving somebody a compliment. You get what I'm saying? Like, some people think that, you know, flirting goes a little bit further than that. Like, you know, but to me, flirting with somebody is is just being nice. You get what I'm saying? You're just being nice. You just, you know, with no expectancy. But if you want flirting with expectancy, you get what I'm saying? It goes a little bit deeper than that. Like, you know, you'll touch the person or, you know what I mean? Like, you'll maybe play with, with the girl's hair or you know what i'm saying uh or the girl will you know rub the dude's head or you know you know grab his cheek or something like that that is flirting that goes too far you know what i'm saying but for me like there's flirting that levels there's levels to flirting i should say right so that's just my opinion on that you know um so yeah man a lot went down in those two episodes and there's still so much left about this series that i don't know so i'm going to be jumping in to episode seven and eight the final two episodes of the season after this uh but you guys gotta wait till tomorrow but in any case i'll catch you guys later don't forget to like the video and comment tell me what you think tell me what was your thoughts at this point when you were watching the show that's what i want to know comment it down below appreciate y'all peace <laughs>